Hello again. I am David, and I shall continue from where Hazel had left off. We shall make some quick sales and then monitor the status of the order. Let us now make a takeout sale. We have received a call from 123-456-7890 and he want a large party pizza. Let's start from hello welcome to Pizza Pop. Can I have your phone number please? We enter the phone number and found there is no record for this new customer. So we add one. Next time we receive the call from this number we do not have to go through this routine. We ask his name and address and make a new entry. Once we have a customer base we can send out our promotion sales, new items added. Also we save a lot of time for getting their addresses. This allows us to have permanent customers, commercial office people who would like to order from their office and pay us by check when they are invoiced. Ok we have selected our takeout customer and am proceeding with the order. We selected party pizza menu, and then we selected party size cheese pizza. Please note if you hold your mouse over the picture you can get additional information about the item. Look out for the check mark on top right of the item block. If this shows check then it means that there are further options attached to this item. In this case all four items have tribute attached to them. Select the toppings. Mark topping here are at different pricing and fixed. They are different from general topping button which has toppings with dynamic pricing. Ok we have done the sale. Since this order came by phone we may charge it over the phone or we can take payment when he comes to pick it come. We decided the latter. In this case you need to click on order confirm this time and not pay now on the right. We shall do the payment once we deliver him the pizza. Our order has been processed and a printout has been sent to the kitchen for the cook to prepare the food. Now let us see what is going on with our order. We click on view all orders. All orders are displayed. The boxes are in different color. If they are in pink then it mean that these order are taking too much time. The running clock will let you know the time since ordered. It will show you whether the order has been prepaid. It is possible to add new items as long as the order is not closed. Orders are closed when they are paid, that is in case of table guest or they are paid and delivered for takeout orders. Please note the difference between the two. For takeout order you need to update the status to delivery or close in order to close the order. View order screen will give you similar feature. You can change the orders as long as the order is not closed. Ok the person is here to pick up his order. We make the payment. This time he pays cash. We close the sale. Now we have a 8 inch. Once the guest has been seated we go through the routine of setting up the table number and the number of guests. We then proceed with the order. At the end we click order confirm to confirm the order. This will print the kitchen slip with the order. Now let us observe the table status. Table status will show a running clock to show how long has the customer has been accompanying that space. Ok time to pay. Note the table has turned dirty. It will remain dirty for about 2 minutes and will turn green.
This dirty to clean is controlled by the program and also manually. In the next tutorial we shall show how we add surcharges to an order, or hold an order for some specific time before cooking.